Star Talk would not be Star Talk were it not for the tandem comedic elements that we weave in to the science that we are otherwise conveying. What you will notice from Seth MacFarlane, if you only catch the highlights of his comedic life, you may only have noticed his jokes that are sort of rich in flatulence. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but he's actually a deep science fan. He's been a science fan his whole life. If you look at enough of his creative work, especially in the character of Stewie, the little baby and family guy, there's science rampant throughout the program. And so it was quite natural to have him be a guest on Star Talk. I'm a big fan of comedians. I love what they do. I think comedians as a community of people, especially stand-up comedians, but comedians in general, they are collectively the repository of all our cultural, social, political, interpersonal mores. They see where we are, and they know our weak points, and they know our strong points. They know what we want to be true. They know what we fight to be true. And they come at us, and they hold up mirrors right when we least expect it, and we say, wow, I'm laughing at myself, and I didn't even think that was possible. When you fold science into that, uh, I think science elevates its place within pop culture, such that people learn about how and why the universe works while they're smiling, while they're laughing. And that's a potent combination. You're not laughing for no reason, and you're not learning with no joy. You put the two together, I think we can deliver the entire universe <laughs> through that marriage, through that woven tapestry that is science and comedy.